Hey, it's Michelle, your CXC Biology Tutor again. Welcome back to the Know the Differences series in which I go through with you important terms that you need to understand. In this video, I'll be looking at the skeletal system and I'll be paying special attention to the differences between bone and cartilage and tendons and ligaments. So by the end of this video, you should know the differences between these pairs of terms and the structural differences and functions that they have. All right, let's look at the bone to begin with. So bone is that hard, tough, connective tissue made of living cells arranged in rings. So you can see that in the diagram on this side. So it actually, it actually looks like a, a trunk that is sliced open with these concentric rings. And in the center of the bone is a canal where the blood vessels and the nerves would run through. After all, bone is living tissue, so it needs to be supplied with various nutrients and oxygen in order for it to survive. So key points to remember about the bone tissue. As I said just now, the bone is made up of living cells, and the most common cells of the bone are known as the osteocytes, and these cells are important for the growth and the repair of the bone. So the bone, if it gets fractured, it can repair itself because they can multiply and form new bone tissue. So the cells can multiply and form that new bone tissue. Now, second point to note is that these living cells, they actually secrete a matrix made up mostly of minerals, which would be the calcium and the phosphorus. So when they combine, they form calcium phosphate. And this, these minerals give the bone its rigid structure. So this is what makes the bone very tough. So apart from the minerals, which give the bone its tough structure, the living cells will also secrete some collagen. Collagen is the main protein found in the bone tissue, and that is what's going to give the bone its strength and flexibility, meaning that it's going to make the bone less brittle and prone to breakage. So it's less likely that the bone would break because of the presence of the collagen in the tissue. Now, why is bone important? So bone is really important for the body structure, the structural support of the body, protection of organs, and they produce, bone tissue produces blood cells. So we're talking about the white and the red blood cells. All right, let's go on to look at the cartilage. Now cartilage is a more flexible connective tissue with living cells arranged in pairs and bundles. So you can see some similarities right away and differences. So cartilage, just like bone, is made up of living cells, but the arrangement is a little different. Now key points to remember about the cartilage. The living cells actually secrete a matrix which contains more collagen and less minerals than bone. So just like bone, cartilage has co collagen and minerals, the same calcium and phosphorus, but always remember that cartilage has more collagen and less minerals than bone. So this makes the cartilage tissue softer and more elastic than bone. So cartilage is usually found at the ends of bones. They're found in our nose, our ears, our trachea, our bronchial tubes. So this, this is helpful in also giving structure to the, these structures in the body these particular parts of the body. And why is, why is cartilage important? Apart from the structural purpose that I just mentioned, the, the, the cartilage actually prevents friction and withstands shock. So this is extremely important in its function where it is located between the bones. So it helps to prevent bones from rubbing together and causing friction. And then if you were to take a fall, it, the, the cartilage helps to absorb some of that shock. So the, the, the elastic material of the cartilage helps absorb that shock and make it less likely for the bone to actually break. All right, so that is cartilage. So that's the difference between the bone and the cartilage. Let's look at the tendons. Now, a tendon is a thick strand which attaches muscle to bone. Now, remember that muscles, they play an important role in facilitating movement at the bones. So without muscles, movement could not occur. So it's important that these muscles which line our bones, these muscles need to be attached to the bone by some form of tissue. And that is where tendons come into play. Now, key points to remember about tendons. 
tendons are made up of strong fibrous collagen. So once again, we are coming across this protein. We talked about collagen when we looked at the bone and the cartilage tissue. So once again, you're seeing it here also present in the tendons. Now, tendons are tough and they do not stretch. So it is partly because of this, this fibrous collagen, it is strong, and it makes tendons capable of withstanding tension. So remember, the muscle is being connected to the bone with the help of this tendon. So the real importance for tendons is really to facilitate and enable movement of bones. So that is what tendons are there for. So they connect the muscle to bone. Now let's look at the ligaments. Now a ligament is a flexible band which attaches a bone to another bone. So as you can see in the diagram, you're seeing two bones, so we're meeting at a joint, that's where two bones meet, a joint, and you're seeing how the ligament attaches one bone, which is the femur, to the other bone, which is the tibia, and you have the fibula there on the side. So the key point is to remember about the ligaments. Now the ligaments are made up of tough elastin fibers. So these elastin fibers makes the ligaments elastic. They make the ligaments able to be stretched and to snap back into position. So if it stretches, it can snap back into position. So the real importance of ligaments is that they help to keep the bones stable and prevent dislocation. So unlike tendons, which help to facilitate movement, because remember, they're connecting muscle to bone, with ligaments, they're all about stability at the bones, stability at a joint. So it helps the bones to remain stable and prevent any dislocation from occurring. All right, so hopefully you have a better understanding now of the differences between bone and cartilage, and then between tendons and ligaments.